Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preppers. Just finished watching New York Preppers video, Red Alert, where he talks about treaty between Russia and USA being extended for five more years for disarming nuclear weapons and explains all the positive, well, I mean, all the negative effects that can come out of it. But what made me think is this, uh, while once again a lot of people don't think that nuclear war is possible, I always thought and still also think it's very possible, especially considering weapons like Status 6 Poseidon, you know, that torpedo he was talking about, that can come to any part of the world, sneak in, undetected with a hundred megaton bomb in it you know if you live on the either coast west or east i think you are in more danger than anywhere else right now people are bugging out from new york city down south to south carolina and or florida a bunch of people actually left from oregon a bunch of russians uh, ex-Soviets, they moved from Oregon to South Carolina. Properties are a lot cheaper, so that's one good reason. However, in my opinion, moving from Oregon to South Carolina is like going from bad to worse, you know. Portland, it's pretty much, it's not exactly coastal city, but it's only, it's only 90 miles away from the coast, and that's if you drive. As a crow flies, it's probably 60 or 70 miles. And that's not far at all if one of those status sixes would be detonated somewhere on Oregon coast, you know. I was watching, I used to watch a lot of videos on nuclear bombs and when they detonated um, biggest ever bomb, Tsar Bomba, when they detonated that in the 60s. The shock wave broke windows 500 kilometers away from the detonation site. The shock wave went around the world, circled the world, the globe, three times. And that's a 50 megaton. What well, 100? Twice as hard, twice as much. So I think um, if hundred megaton bomb would be detonated the only the, one, the only way to deliver it would be status six I don't think uh, airplane could deliver that heavy of a bomb although the 50 megaton they tested back in 60s was dropped from the plane and that plane barely got away by the way after the bomb was detonated, the shock wave shook the plane so hard it almost knocked it out of the sky. So there's no missile that could deliver, as far as I know, 100 megaton bomb, but status six could. So, in my opinion, if all-out nuclear nuclear war breaks out, one of those nifty devices will be used to deliver the goods in my opinion so in my opinion you if you're gonna move away move away good few hundred miles and you know going back to New York rapper he just came back from South Dakota trip I personally have never been to South Dakota except for visiting uh, in the middle of the winter my cousin he lives in Sioux Falls South Dakota we didn't really go sightseeing, there was a lot of snow. I had some other reasons why I visited him that time, but um, I don't really know much about South Dakota. You know, I almost, almost could say that I haven't been to South Dakota because I really didn't drive around, didn't see anything. But um, judging from NY Prepper's videos, South Dakota looks really beautiful, you know, Part of South Dakota is pretty, 
pretty boring but other where black hills are it is gorgeous and certainly looks amazing for survival purposes super low population of people yes harsh winters but in a survival situation that's a that's a plus less people more resources for you woods uh, mountains full of animals lakes and rivers it's great in my opinion the only downside is uh, there's rattlesnakes i'm not sure if they're there in abundance or not that would be something you'd have to deal with and take precaution of because in shtf scenario if you get stung by one bitten by one chances are you won't receive help you know plus if you're far away from the civilization trying to survive chances are you're far away from the hospital and uh, those anti-venoms they are real expensive they're thousands of dollars I heard and but, you know in a survival situation health insurance probably not gonna work um, who knows I just think you need to be very careful where you step where you go and just as a precaution, be very careful of rattlesnakes because, in my opinion, they're a real threat in a survival situation. That's one of the reasons why I like Oregon and Washington because um, in the western part of these states, there is no rattlesnakes. If you go to the eastern part of Oregon or Washington, um, there, there is a lot of them. Anyway, needless to say, South Dakota, Wyoming, perhaps Idaho or Montana are probably great states for surviving, great states for bugging out. So just be careful of those nasty critters like rattlesnakes. Anyway, if all out nuclear war breaks out, I'm sure Poseidon Stata 6 will be used as well as as well as uh, uh, nuclear missiles. However, missiles, even the big ones, they're not going to deliver that big of a load. So obviously, nuclear fallout wouldn't be as bad. And if you're lucky, if you're upwind from it, then then you're okay. If you're far enough from detonation, you know, I'd say stay away, stay away 100 miles away from possible, possible targets, you know, different nuclear bases, cities with a lot of factories that produce anything military, and so on and so forth. But definitely, if you're gonna move, and move far away move to one of those states or move to Ozarks you know Ozarks they seems like a great area for surviving you know it's part of Missouri and uh, part of Oklahoma I believe anyway do your research where you want to bug out but away from the coast if you're gonna leave if you're gonna move or bug out as far as as far away from the coast as possible okay thanks for watching everybody don't forget to like this video if you find it useful also share it and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you in the next upload take care